Dr. Mike, arguably the most famous doctor on YouTube, male heartthrob, was recently seen with a bunch of smoke shows on a boat and I mean, ooh, geez. Problem is, Mikey Boy wasn't wearing a mask. Bigger problem, Mikey Boy was preaching pro-lockdown dogma for the past year. Has he broken his hypocritical, uh, uh, what's it called, Hippocratic Oath? I personally believe these pictures were taken out of context, and in reality, Dr. Mike was probably misled at various moments throughout this day. He had to have been tricked in, into this mini vacation. I bet he was told just to come down for some type of business, PR, social media stuff. Who really travels for their birthday? Unusual. Maybe it was a business or PR event, and then he was pressured to go out with his buddies, you know, from a business relationship perspective, it's difficult and rude to decline such an invite. I mean, he could have been told, you know, it's just going to be one or two people on the boat. They're going to all have masks on. They were all tested, you know, everything according to the guidelines. And how do we even know this picture was taken this year? It could have been last summer. I mean, Miami's always warm. Who knows when the picture was taken? In this picture, it looks like he just came out of the water. Yeah, obviously, you can't wear a mask in the water. And it does appear as if he's holding his breath. You, know, you can tell by the arch in his back and the angle of his spine that his lungs are at maximum capacity. You know, He was definitely posing for this photo with his mask off, and then he was going to put it back on after he stopped holding his breath. I mean, this is just another deceiving picture. I think they're socially distanced. You know, the angle of the camera combined with the specific lens the photographer used, plus the sun in the background. I mean, he's got to be at least, you know, five, six, seven feet away from those girls. Even if it's not as distorted as much as we think it is, who knows what actually happened? Dude, the guy could have been drugged. Maybe he was taking some precautionary medication before the event and didn't realize that if, you know, you combine it with, I don't know, something, the sunlight, the ocean water, you could get cognitive problems. So it's highly probable that Dr. Mike was put in a circumstance against his own will. I mean, someone would never go back on what they said so adamantly mere months ago. Back in July, he said, wearing a mask decreases the spread of this virus and that is of utmost importance for people's health and the health of our economy. So please, if you're going outside in public and are going to be around other people, wear a mask. It doesn't matter if it's silk, cotton, or surgical grade. The purpose of the mask is to limit the respiratory droplets that you put out into the environment. By wearing a mask, you're essentially limiting the spread to the community. So if you see someone wearing a mask, you should really be thanking them. Let's be honest, those girls have been with so many guys and they're out so much that if you interacted with 20 or 30 of them on a given day, you'd probably be dead, let alone sick. And Dr. Mike seems fine. So it, it's very clear that you know the social distancing guidelines were adhered to and, and they were all you know far away from each other. I mean, he, I genuinely believe if he interacted with that many girls that hot, he would be sick. And, and yeah, there's a lot of people disappointed in Dr. Mike, but I, I think something fishy is going on here. You know, he definitely would not have done this if he thought so strongly about wearing a mask, protecting himself, uh, you know, especially protecting everyone else. Haters are saying things like, oh, you're supposed to set an example, that they used to admire and respect him, the hypocrisy. I think they're misrepresenting the context of these photos. I mean, again, you know, in that first photo, you know, he's holding his breath. He, he was just far away. He just got out of the water. You know, in the second photo, uh, you know, the angle's misleading, and I'm sure everyone was tested before getting on the boat. You know, judging by these articles, someone must be out to get this guy at these publications. Images show the shirtless doc giving one of the women a neck rub and posing without a mask next to a bottle of champagne sparking outrage from fans who called him a hypocrite, the outlet reported. This is crazy. The guy's a doctor. The only reason doctors touch people is to examine them. They're right by the water. She probably had water in her ears or something. He was examining her ears. That's how they lay down in the doctor's table. And that's exactly how they do it in the doctor's office. And the champagne glasses were empty. Did the reporter even look at the picture? The champagne's not even open, it's upside down. 
it's hard to say he wasn't examining this woman. It's even harder to say they were drinking. I think this is a lot of speculation, and whoever wrote this New York Post article is just completely misrepresenting the photo. And, you know, on second thought, this could be photoshopped. It's a blurry picture, there's filters on it, it's grainy, who knows? I mean, guys, how much more legitimate you can be? It's a government organization. The CDC is confirming it's all according to protocol, and we know the CDC would never lie to people. As one commenter on Reddit asked, Do good-looking people just have an immunity to it that we're not aware of? Or does he just think the rules don't apply to him? I mean, the guy brings up a good argument, but to be fair, healthy people usually look good. And since they were adhering to guidelines and likely passed the test, they could definitely just be good looking because they're not sick. And not only that, a lot of attractive people have familiar faces. They're generically liked. So how do we even know if this is Dr. Mike? You know, there's probably a few dozen guys in Miami in every state that are nearly identical to him, especially in the context of this photo. The distance, the blurriness, you know, it's just unclear. How do we know if these pictures were even Dr. Mike? Uh, so thank you guys for joining me. Uh, let me know what you think uh, down in the comments below. Uh, and, but as always, if you could please, you know, drop a like on the video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you haven't. And above all, uh, please share the video on social media if you can. Thanks again for joining me, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow's video.